जय हिंद चिल्ड्रेन इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल रिवाइज वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन लीनियर इक्वेशन आई हैव प्रिपेयर सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू अकॉर्डिंग टू योर प्रॉब्लम्स वॉट एवर प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव आस्ड इन द ग्रुप आई हैव प्रिपेयर सम क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड विद दैट एंड देन लेट सी हाउ टू सॉल्व इट सम ऑफ देम आर अनसॉल्व क्वेश्चन दैट यू विल सॉल्व इट राइट नाउ Okay, so just be ready with your rough notebook. Am I clear? Just be ready with your rough notebook. Keep you have to keep aside your classwork notebook. No need to do it in classwork copy. What where you will solve? You will solve all the questions of today's class in your homework in your rough notebook, not homework ho rough notebook. So children, let's see the first question. The first question is. we will solve question number 1 to 6 okay now the first question is 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 19 children see well uh, i think you people will solve it isn't it i am having lots of trust on you children quickly solve it what is 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 19 you have to solve the value for x and then tell me the answer how you will tell me the answer hmm by keeping by solving it in your homework notebook only i know you are unable to tell me the answer but if it is possible then try to solve it in your copy only and then match it with my answer okay 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 19. I am also writing it on my board. 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 19. Children, what we will do? Hmm? We will separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side. I am waiting for you, children. Just solve it. Then I will solve. Okay, I think you have separated the terms now. Okay, you solve, and I am also solving. And after solving your own question, just see here. Separating the terms on one side. Variable term on one side and constant term on other side. It is minus nineteen. It will become minus two. So seven x is equal to both are negative numbers integers. Both are negative. So we will add them. We will add them. The answer will be twenty one and the sign. This they contain which sign? Negative sign. So answer will be minus twenty one after addition. Now x is equal to children x is equal to minus twenty one by seven. And now what we will do? We will simplify seven ones are seven and seven threes are twenty one. So the value of x is minus three. The value of x is minus three. Clear? This is in this way you can solve. so i think you you whatever you have solved in your rough notebook it is matching with my answer let's see the answer children yes it is minus 3 now the next question this is question number 2 children come on write down in your home, rough notebook 3x minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5. I am also writing it on my board. You solve it in your rough notebook, children. Quickly solve it. Three x minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5. Question number two. Three x minus 1 by 3. Is equal to five. Children, what we will do in this case? 
In this case, we will separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side, and then we will solve it. Or the second way is you have you just multiply the denominator. Only one denominator is here, so no need to take the LCM. This denominator you have to multiply on both sides so that you can you can delete this three. Okay, you can simplify the denominator. But I am not solving with that method. I am separating the variable term and constant term on other side. You solve by your own method. It's not restricted that you solve it with my method. Okay, and I am waiting for your answer. Come on, children. I am waiting, children. Only first step I have solved. I think we have solved now, isn't it? Okay. Now let's see. When this minus one by three will transpose to other side, it will become plus one by three. The whole term you are shifting, children. So minus will become plus. As it is, it will be transposed to other side. As it is. Okay. When it will be in multiplication with this, then only we will transpose the denominator to numerator and numerator to denominator. But right now it is in it, these two are different terms. It is different term, so we will transpose the whole term. The so minus will become plus. Now next step is solve this RHS side. Five we can write it as five by one. Now I am solving it cross by cross multiplication. You can solve it by using LCM method. Five three is a fifteen plus one into one one divided by three one is a three. This is three x is equal to sixteen by three. Okay, and when this three will be transposed to this side, what will be the answer? X is equal to sixteen by three, and now this three will multiply in de denominator. It's not. Looking to you, children. It's not visible. Let me solve here. Now, x is equal to 16 by 3 is already on that side on RHS. Now this 3 will when transposed to RHS. Here it is in multiplication. Here it is in numerator. It will go for division or it will go to denominator. In any way you can write. It is in numerator. It is in multiplication. It is in numerator. when it will transpose to other side it will go to denominator and in in whatever is in denominator with that number it will be multiplied now what is the value of x 16 upon 3 is a 9 16 by 9 okay this will be the answer so let's check our answer you can substitute the value of x here and then you can find it also that whether lhs is equal to rhs let me show you before see uh, looking the answer let me show you how you will check it that whether your answer is correct or not x is equal to 16 by 9 or x is what 16 by 9 so instead of x i am writing 16 by 9 then minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 we will not transport children uh, transpose Huh? we will not transpose what we will do we will solve lhs as well as rhs and if they were they will be equal our value of x will be correct so 3 3 is a 9 okay so 16 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 now solve it further our denominators are same denominators are same so you you can write it as whole upon 3 okay again it is not visible children Let me solve here. This is 16 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5. Now, denominator is same. I think now it is visible. Yes. Now 16 minus 1. 16 minus 1. That is equal to 5. What is 16 minus 1? 16 minus 1 is 15. 16 minus 1 is 15. Let me solve here. Fifteen by three, that is equal to five. Now solve the LHS part. Three fives are fifteen. 
5 is equal to 5. LHS is equal to RHS. It means our answer X as 16 by 9 is correct. Okay, your answer is correct. My answer is also correct. Now, let's see the answer. This is in mixed fraction. You can change it children. Okay. Now, next question. Five x minus four is equal to twenty one. Five x minus four is equal to twenty one. Five x minus four is equal to twenty one. Come on, children, solve it right now. I am also writing it my on my board. I am waiting for your answer, children. Five x minus four is equal to twenty one. Hmm. Can you write it? Can you solve it? Separate the variable on one side and constant on other side. Fast children, do it fast. I am waiting. This is revision class. That's why now in this class you will solve it first, and then I will explain. I think you people have solved it. Now let's see. Five x minus four is equal to twenty one. So I am separating variable and constant. So minus four when it will transpose to RHS, it will become plus four. X five x is equal to twenty five, and x is equal to twenty five by five. That is that is when you will solve it. Five five sir. So the answer of x is five. This is the answer, children. Okay. Now, let's see the another question. First, we will see the answer. Let's show. Let me show you the answer. See, answer is five. Okay. Now. Let's see the another question. This is question number four. Question number four. How to solve it, children? Quickly write down and solve it in your rough notebook. Till meanwhile, I am erasing my board, and I am waiting for you. Let me see what is your answer. I am unable to see right now, children, because very we are very far away. It's a virtual class, but I know you people are doing. Just try it, children. Whether you will get your answer in correct format or not, please try it at least. Three into x minus three. I'm writing it, children. Is equal to four into two x plus one. Four into two x plus one. Yes, it is correct. I think you people have solved it. Let me solve it for you, and you will match your solution. Okay. This is bracket. So we will open the bracket first. Three into x, three x plus minus. Children, plus minus will become minus. Okay. Three three is a nine. Three three is a nine. Is equal to four into two. Four two is a eight x. Four two is a eight x. Plus plus plus. Four into one. Four one is a four. This is the answer after the simplification of brackets. When you will open the bracket, you will get this equation. Three will multiply with both. That's why three into One no no number means one three ones are three three x plus minus different sign children so minus will come and three into three nine same same sign children 
so plus will come. 4 2 ja 8 x. Same sign plus will come. 4 1 ja 4. In any way you can remember this. Now separating variable on one side and constant on other side. So 3 x is already here. I have to transpose 8 x to LHS. 8 x is positive. So it will become negative. Minus 8 x. That is equal to 4. Okay. Minus 9 when transposed to other side. It will become plus 9. Minus 9 when transposed to other side. It will become plus 9. Now subtracted children. One is positive. One is negative. We will subtract. Okay. From bigger. We will subtract the smaller. 8 minus 3 is 5. X and sign of bigger number. That is 8x. 8x. 8 is bigger. So, its sign is negative. So, we, in the answer we will write negative. That is equal to 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay. And x is equal to 13 upon minus 5. This minus 5 when transposed to RHS it will go for division. Here it is in multiplication. It will go for division. And same sign will go beta. I am not transposing the whole term. I am transposing only a part of it. Minus 5. Only a part of this term is transposing to other side. So sign will not change. Minus 5 will go as it is and it will be minus 5. Now after that you can write it as or or x is equal to minus in a middle 13 by 5. And you can convert it into mixed fraction also. Okay. That will be more simplified. 5 to 10. So minus 2, minus 2 whole, 3, 3 whole, uh, 3 by 5. Minus uh, 2 whole, 3 by 5. Okay, this will be the answer. Now, I have to check the answer also. So let me show you the answer children. Let me show you the answer. See, minus 2 whole, 3 by 5. Okay. Now the next question children. Let's see the next question. It is question number 5. Question number 5. Children, quickly write down and start solving it beta. I am also erasing my board. Meanwhile, I am writing it on the board and you solve it. These are some different examples which I have picked from various places. 6x minus 9 minus 2 into 1 minus x is equal to x plus 9. Okay. You will take time. I know it's not tough but it is a little bit lengthy. So try to solve it. You will open the bracket. Isn't it? And then transpose the terms. Different different terms on each side. May I start children? Okay let me start. So this is the question. When you will solve it. This will become 6x minus 9. Now, this is in bracket and be, uh, just, just before the bracket, you are having minus 2. Minus 2. So, minus plus, just see the sign first. Minus plus minus will come. Then multiply. 2, 1s are 2. Clear? Again, next, uh, next time, again see, just put the sign first. Minus, minus will become plus. Same sign, plus will come. Minus, minus in multiplication, minus, minus will become plus. 2 into 1, no number means 1. 2 into 1, 2 and x will come. Hmm. That is equal to x plus 9. I think the step is clear to you. Now next is 6x plus 2x. It is already here. Then 
this x when transposed to this side, this x will become minus x. So I am writing minus x, separating all x at one side, variable terms on one side. 9 is already there. Okay. When minus 9 will transpose, it will become plus 9. And when minus 2 will transpose, it will become plus 2. Okay. Now solve. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 8 minus 1 is 7x. Next step. 9 plus 9. How much? 18 plus 2. 20. It means we will not get the perfect answer. We will, we will have some answer in fractional form. X is equal to 20 by 7. This is the answer. Okay. This is the answer. So, so if you will see the next step, the answer will be 20 by 7. Let me show you the answer children. See, answer is 20 by 7. 7. Okay. I think your answer is also 20 by 7. I hope that all of you have are doing it correctly. Now the next one children. Let's see the next question. In unsolved this is last question and after that I will show you some solved question. Okay. This is the question. Come on. Write down children. Meanwhile, I am erasing the board and you will solve it in your rough copy, a rough notebook. Question number 6. I am just writing children, I am not explaining, you just do it in your copy. 3x plus 2 by 2x minus 2. 3 is equal to minus 3 by 2. This is the question children. And I am waiting for your answer. Then I will explain. I think you have remembered the last question of exercise 7a. It is same as that. Okay, let's start solving this. What we will do children, if you will get question in this form, okay, in both the, both side we are having something in this way, uh, numerator and denominator. Ah, so what you will do, you will try to transpose the denominator first. Transpose this denominator to LHS. It will multiply in numerator. Transpose the, this particular denominator to RHS. It will multiply in numerator. So now I am transposing this 2 to here. And when it will transpose here, it will multiply with the whole 3x plus 2. And always keep it in a bracket. Is equal to minus 3 is already there. Now 2x minus 3 is transposing to RHS. Here it is in denominator. It will go for numerator in multiplication. So 2x minus 3. This is the question. This is the next step of the question. Now what will be the next step children? Our next step is to simplify the bracket. Okay. Come on. I think you people are doing right now. Simplify it. I am waiting children. enough time isn't it let me solve 2 into 3 2 3 just 6 x plus 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 2 into 2 2 2 is a 4 it is open now is equal to minus 3 into 6 minus 6 x minus minus will become plus 3 3 is a 9 okay now next step separating variable term on one side and constant term on other side so keep 6x here. Now transpose minus 6 here to, to this side. So it will become plus 6x. That is equal to 9. It is 9 children. 9. And when plus 4 will transpose, it will become minus 4. Okay. 
सिक्स प्लस सिक्स ट्वेल्व एक्स एंड नाइन माइनस फोर इज फाइव नाइन माइनस फोर इज फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई ट्वेल्व दिस विल बी योर आंसर x is equal to five by twelve. Okay, children. I I think you people have solved it. Now let me show you the answer. Answer is. Let me show you the screen first. Okay. Now the answer is five by twelve. This is the answer. So in this way we have completed some unsolved question. This is revision part, children. and i have collected six questions for you six questions unsolved questions and today you you have tried it to solve and i know you people were getting your answers hmm now our next question next set of set of questions i am having four more questions for you and that is solved questions you will see how we can solve some linear equations but it is solved let me show you the screen see this is the first question which is the solved one solve 2x plus 5 by x plus 4y 1 solve it children how you will solve it you will transpose do the denominator okay only one denominator is there that is x by x plus 4 which is in lhs you have to transpose the denominator of lhs that is x plus 4 to rhs okay so see the steps how you will solve it so when you will transpose x plus 4 to that side it will multiply with 1 okay and then The answer will come in this way. X is equal to minus one here. What is the value of x? X is equal to minus one. And when you will solve it, when you will check it, you will find that the question is the the particular answer x is equal to minus one is correct. Okay. Now let me show you the next question, children. Next question. It is also a solved one. Oh no, it's gone. Let me show you again. Okay, question number two. Now let's see question number two. This is question number two, children. Six x minus nineteen is equal to three x minus ten. Try to solve it and then see the solution. No need to see the solution, children. Try to solve it and then see the solution. Solution is in front of you. but you can solve it at least once i have erased the board meanwhile now it's looking nice isn't it <laughs> now see separating the variable term on one side 6x minus 3x that is equal to minus 10 is already on rhs side you have to transpose minus 19 so when you will transpose minus 19 it will become plus 19 okay and after that 3x is equal to 9 is left and then when you will solve it the value of x will be 3 okay in this way you can solve such question now let me show you the next question this is question number 3 quickly see children in this question what you have to do you have to open the brackets you have to open the brackets first you will open 2 into x minus 1 this this particular bracket as well as see the rhs 4 into 3x 3 minus x so once you will open those brackets then what you will do after opening the bracket removing the bracket then you can transpose the variable at one side and constant on other side if there are many numbers you can trans you can solve it there and then transpose it is your choice children but it's better to simplify it and then transpose 
then you no need to write those terms again and again okay so it's better to simplify and then after that simplifying after that transpose it so i think it is clear to you okay and the answer is 5 by 4 first simplify the bracket on both side then simplify see they have simplified 5 plus 2 they have written uh, in the lhsc children first they have simplified it 5 plus 2 is 7 minus 2x and on other side minus 4x and minus 2x so what will be the answer both are negative so it will be added and sign of negative minus 6x and now you can you cannot further simplify it so now you will transpose the variable term at one side and constant term on other side after doing this the value of x is equal to 5 by 4 okay okay now let's go move to the next question that is the last question for today and see the last question x by 2 plus x by 3 is equal to x minus 7 children please solve it first and then see the solution i am also waiting although the solution is in front of you but we should solve it first this is a different type of question so we should solve it first and then we will match it with our answer so i am waiting for your answer children quickly solve it i think you people have solved isn't it is it big a little bit but not too big x by 2 plus x by 3 children in denominator you are having 3 and 2 you are having 3 and 2 so what you will do to remove those denominator so that we we can have the simpler equation what we will do we will see those denominator 2 and 3 take the lcm that is 6 and now multiplying 6 on both side although they have not solved in this way they have cross multiplied and they have then they have solved they have taken lcm on uh, lhs side so in any way in, in there are various ways to solve it children so but i if i will solve this i will solve in by using the by removing the bracket uh, by re removing the denominator how by how we can remove the denominator by taking the lcm of those denominator 2 and 3 are denominator so i will take 6 as lcm and then i will multiply 6 on both side on lhs as well as on rhs and then i will simplify the denominator first after simplifying the denominator then we will see that in the next step we will not have any denominator and then one by one we will transpose L, the variable term on one side and constant term on other side so in this way we can solve it i think it's clear to you okay they have solved the, the by using this method they have solved in lhs only they have solved the lhs first then they have transpose x to other side so it is their method and we will solve it by using r method okay so children till now what we have completed we have completed question number 1 to 35 i think it's what 35 yes and all uh, seven exercise we have solved you have also solved some questions then this was the revision part after doing the revision in tomorrow class what we will start we will start the word problems children what we will start we will start the word problem questions based on linear equation so i suggest you to complete your exercise i am sending you the exercise also pdf for your help i hope you all have solved all the question if not if having problem see the pdf you can text the message also that ma'am still i am having problem or what 
अदरवाइज रिवाइज इट चिल्ड्रेन एज मैनी एज टाइम यू रिवाइज इट डू लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सिट बैक एट योर होम फॉर वन एंड टू आवर्स ओनली फॉर मैथमेटिक्स नो नीड टू डिस्टर्ब योर सेल्फ एंड देन ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट यू विल फील यू विल फील वेरी एक्साइटेड वेन यू विल सॉल्व इट वेन यू विल गेट द आंसर बाई योर ओन ओके यू विल फील वेरी हैप्पी एट दैट टाइम ट्राई इट बेटा टिल देन टेक केयर and then tomorrow we will start the next exercise okay